Good morning, Rockets. Today is Friday, September 18th, 2020. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us a parable of a rich man who is building many barns so that he can rest and enjoy his life. The man is foolish because he has stored up treasures for himself, but has not put enough trust in God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly, and he thought to himself, What should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul? You have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. How can you be rich toward God? Please join me in praying our morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. St. Raymond Anatus, pray for us. St. Clara of Assisi, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Here are today's announcements. Our eighth graders will be participating in their leadership ceremony this afternoon. We've turned it into a prayer service that begins at 145. So we want to lift our prayers up for our eighth graders as they embark on their year of leadership as eighth graders and as they consider the legacy that they want to leave behind. Grades three, five, and seven all have Iowa testing next week. So that begins on Monday. So please make sure you're well rested and have a breakfast before coming to school. The junior high uh, teachers would like me to make an announcement because we're not gathering um, as a group in the lunchroom. Last year we initiated a student of the week. So we wanna announce our first student of the week. So it goes to a member of the sixth, seventh or eighth grade class who's really shined throughout the week. So it's a teacher nominated distinction. And the student who gets this, um, is the recipient of this, gets a whole week of dress down. They fill out a paper so that we can learn a little bit more about them and they're displayed in the junior high hallway. So the person selected this week is someone who shows us that kindness can be about helpfulness. So they are finding ways to always be helpful. And that kindness can be just greeting someone with a great deal of respect. So we want to wish a congratulations to, drum roll please, sixth grader, Nate Homolka. Congratulations, Nate. I'll be down in a little while to present your certificate to you and take your picture. Today for lunch, if you ordered the A option, it's chicken and cheese quesadillas. 
And if you ordered the B lunch, it's turkey and American sushi rolls. We have one birthday today, Violet Manor. She's in preschool, so happy birthday, Violet. And then on Monday, we have one birthday, and I know he's not gonna be here, so I'm gonna announce it now. Santo Fasano in seventh grade. So happy birthday to you, Santo. Make it a great day, Rockets, and I encourage you to use your words and actions to rise to greatness.